You know that old saying, when it rains, it pours, right? Maybe you wake up in the morning, you miss your alarm clock, um, you stub your toe, you hit a traffic jam that was unexpected, and the day just seems to spiral out of control. Well, guess what? There's actually a lot more to that than you might imagine, okay? And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about how you can avoid that and create masterpiece days all by crafting the perfect morning routine, okay? This thing that you hear over and over and over and over and over and over again from the success, most successful people on earth. How do you have the perfect morning routine? Why is it so important? I'm gonna talk about all of those things in this video because just so you know, this really is the secret to success. <laughs> What's going on guys? Nick Robbins here for another video. So excited to have you here. If you guys like these videos where we talk about how to make more money, how to improve your life, your well-being, get more out of your life, then please like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys are thinking. It does help the channel a lot and I really appreciate it. So with that being said guys, let's hop right into today's video. Now, the perfect morning routine. I get asked about this all of the time, all of the time. And here it is, guys. The perfect morning routine is having a morning routine. That's the beginning of it, okay? Now, I'm gonna go with you exactly what mine looks like, but first, I want you guys to understand that the perfect morning routine is gonna be designed around you. It needs to work with your specific personality, how you wake up, when you wake up, everything along those lines. I'm gonna give you all the things that I do and a lot of what other people do, but guess what? The key to having a perfect morning routine is just having a morning routine where you take time for yourself. That is the number one key, okay? So don't feel like it has to be perfect. You have to follow everyone else's examples of it, right? But I will give you some things that have worked tremendously well for me, my consulting clients, the people that I work with, and things that I've learned from some of the most successful people on earth in regards to their morning routine. So the first thing this starts with is get up an hour earlier than your day is supposed to begin, okay? Now this could be at 5 a.m., in my case it's at like 4 a.m., it could be 7 a.m., right? Everyone's got different life schedules. Believe it or not, guys, I'm not someone who thinks that everybody needs to wake up at 4 or 5 a.m. I don't think that that's actually smart. I think that everyone has different circadian rhythms and biological clocks. Um, people like Jeff Bezos, he doesn't even get in the office till like 10 a.m., right? And so it just depends on the individual and how you sleep and who you are. But regardless, what you need to do is have an hour minimum for yourself before your normal day begins. So get up an hour earlier, okay? And so here's what I like to do. Number one thing I like to do is what I call priming, okay? And I learned this from Tony Robbins, but really what it is, is priming your mind and your body to get ready for the day. Now, what does that mean, okay? What that means is it gets you into a good state of mind. So what I do to prime in the morning is I will get up, I have a Muse headset, a Muse headphone, and I will meditate for 15 minutes, okay? 15 minutes every single day I come downstairs and meditate. And what I do is I literally just watch my breath. I watch my breath. Then about five minutes in, I start thinking in gratitude, okay? I start thinking about all my loved ones. I start thinking about amazing memories that I've had in the past, and I just give thanks for being alive, okay? Not enough of us give thanks for just breathing and being alive. We don't appreciate the wonders of life, and so I really love to do that because if you think about it, guys, we don't even know what makes our heart beat. We don't even know why uh, our subconscious brain works the way it does and keeps all of our blood flowing, so be thankful for that, okay? That's one thing you'd be grateful for, right? If you're like, oh, I don't have anything to be grateful for. I promise you, if you're able to watch this, you have things to be grateful for. Then, the last few minutes of my 15 minute meditation, I will actually go into visualization. I will picture how I'm going to behave that day. I'm going to picture what I want that day to look like, okay? And I'll also picture future end results that I expect to happen, okay? My income goals, my financial goals, my health and well-being goals. I will picture those in my head and I will smile and I will see myself in those goals. So to recap, for my 15 meditation, it's about five to seven minutes of just breathing, getting in touch, with myself and just literally nothing but breathing, letting my thoughts go by, then about three to five minutes of gratitude and then three to five minutes of visualization. Immediately after that, what I do is I will journal, okay? I will journal. I actually use an app called Day One. It's on the phone. I've actually found it much easier to utilize the phone to write my journaling, 
okay? Because it's dark when I get up and it's, it's, just, it's just easier for me and it's just more, more convenient, right? Now, I've done a lot of handwritten journaling in the past and I think it's great, right? It doesn't matter, I don't care what you use, I'm all about what's gonna be most consistent, okay? So I use that app. And for what I journal and how I journal, I've got a whole video on this that you guys can check out, but typically here's what I do. I rewrite my goals, I talk about what I'm working on, how I'm feeling. I'm very, very big guys on observing how energetic am I today, how motivated do I feel today, right? I really love to take a pulse and see how I'm feeling um, at that point in time. Because what I do once I figure out how I feel is I go back and say, hey, what, did I do something different yesterday that either makes me feel lousy today? And then I iterate and, and really look for, for signs or triggers that either make me feel good or make me feel bad. So I can do more of them or I can do less of them, okay? So that's typically what my journaling looks like. It's nothing too crazy. I just sit there and write, what's going on? How do I feel? What am I gonna get done? What are my goals, right? And sometimes I end up writing the same thing every single day. For years, I wrote, I am a millionaire. Every single day, I'm a millionaire, I'm a millionaire, I'm a millionaire, and guess what? We've done over eight million in revenue now, right? I started writing that back when I worked in uh, professional sports and, and making a million dollars was so far out of the realm, it was crazy. Next, after I journal, okay? After I journal, I'll actually go and read my goals. I'll go and read my goals. Now, in my top five daily habits video, I talk about this, but I've got my goals on my iPhone my top financial goal, I've got my top fitness goal, I've got my top relationship goal, who do I wanna be? I'll just go through and review them. The reason why this is so powerful, guys, is it's priming you to get excited for the day, okay? Because chances are there's something on your to-do list, there's something you have to do today that you don't particularly love. Now, what's key is remembering why you have to do it, why you're going out there to take the action. Whenever you get scared, you come back and you've primed, you're like, okay, now I know exactly why I'm doing what I'm doing because it's leading me towards this ideal version of myself, this ideal vision of myself, okay? So I'll review all of my goals. The next thing that I do, this is critical, okay? And I've talked about this in, in videos in the past, but I take what I call a motivational bath. There's a great quote by the great Zig Ziglar that says, motivation is like bathing. We need it every single day, okay? So every morning, without fail, take a motivational bath. And what I do is I actually grab my Bose headphones right here. I've got a rebounder trampoline, okay? So I jump on my trampoline and I listen to motivational videos, okay? I can link to the motivational list, playlist. Let me know in the comments if you want that, that I use, all right? And I just listen to speeches and I just get in state. I get excited. I get great messaging coming in through my mind and my body. And by the time I'm done, about 10 minutes, 15 minutes or so, I am in such an amazing state. It's incredible, okay? So I am primed. That's what priming means. Priming your state of being to get ready to go out there and crush the day, okay? Because I've talked lot in this channel, but being in a good state of being, feeling good, is going to lead you to take better actions. And the better actions you're going to get, the better results you're going to get. Okay, so we have to take care of our state of being. Okay, and then from there, I'll go out and I'll actually just go in and get to work. Literally, that's my morning routine at this point. So if you want to recap what mine specifically is, and I'm going to give you guys some other ideas, things that you can do, right, and things I've done in the past, um, but here's what mine is specifically. I wake up in the morning, 15 minutes of meditation. During my meditation, I have gratitude and visualization, okay? And then what I do is I go and immediately journal. I just journal things I'm grateful for, what I'm doing, what I'm up to, how I feel, okay? And then the next thing that I do is I go out and I read my goals, okay? I read my goals. This is all on my iPhone. Keep in mind, all my iPhone. Now I'm on airplane mode, so I can't get distracted or anything like that. But, I'm, but I go in and I'll read my goals on my iPhone notes. What's my financial, health, relationship, wealth goals every single day. I'll see myself there. I'll get excited about it. It gets me pumped up. And then what I'll do is I'll go in and put on my Bose headphones. I'll jump on my rebounder trampoline. 10, 15 minutes, listen to motivational speeches, stuff to get me excited and state thankful for the day. And then I will go and get to work. Now, things I've done in the past that also work extremely well exercising in the morning, okay? I exercised first thing in the morning for years. I still love it. I'm still getting a bit of exercise when I do the rebounder trampoline. The reason why I don't currently exercise first thing in the morning is because the way I've constructed my days is I am at my best first thing in the morning creative-wise, so I like to get my creative work done. However, when I didn't have the option or freedom to do that, I worked out first thing in the morning. When I was working a nine to five job, I worked out first thing in the morning. Even for the first three, four years of uh, building the agency and we had the office and everything there, I worked out first thing in the morning. So that's a great thing to do to get you in state, especially if you know that if you don't exercise first thing in the morning, you're not gonna do it later in the day. At this point in my life, I know no matter what, I'm going to exercise. And for those of you wondering, I actually exercise between 10 
at 10 a.m. until about noon. I go, I do exercise, do a little yoga stretch, and then I go on a little walk and get sunlight coming in. Which leads me to another thing that I would highly recommend you guys do first thing in the morning when you wake up as well that I've done on and off for years, okay, and that's go for a walk. Now I've moved my walk a little bit, but I've done it on and off for years. Another thing that's fantastic is you can go out and watch the sunrise. Okay, maybe you have a nice cup of coffee, a cup of tea, right? All those things. My point is, it really doesn't matter that much, guys, and I don't think that you should try and put the exact same morning routine that other people have done, and if you feel uncomfortable with meditating for 15 minutes and you're just like, ah, I just can't do it. No, if you're uncomfortable with it, that's fine, okay, that's fine. Jump on a trampoline, take a motivational bath, spend some time for yourself, journal, okay? The whole point of the morning routine, Okay, this is what I don't want to get lost. Okay, the whole point of it is to get you in a good state of mind, feeling good, visualizing how your day is going to go, connecting with your highest visions and dreams and goals so that you can go out there and take action and get good results. Okay, and be in a good state of mind because we all know what it feels like when we get our morning started off bad because, you know, the, the kids were screaming or the neighbor's dog was barking and then we stub the toe, right? And then the food burns and the, and the coffee spills on us on the way to work and we're wearing the white shirt, whatever it might be. The goal is to just take control of the morning because if you can take control of your morning, then you have the energy and the spirit and you're in the motivational state in order to take control of the rest of your day, okay? Because here's the other thing that happens. When you start doing specific things and you start getting goals and things accomplished, it creates this momentum effect where you go out there and dominate the rest of your day. So if you have any other questions about morning routines, what's good, what's bad, I would love to actually hear about your morning routines in the comments below. What's really awesome is the more I've connected with people like you and everybody else who's into this type of stuff, I hear really cool things about morning routines. So let me know in the comments below what yours looks like. But here's the thing, guys, at the end of the day, just set aside an hour of time for yourself, for you to reflect, be with your thoughts. This doesn't mean scroll social media or anything. Be with your thoughts. Think about who you want to be, who you're going to become. Get yourself in a good state of being, a good state of mind so that you can go out there and do the things that you know must be done in order to get the results that you want to get in life so that you can take your life to the next level. So with all that being said, guys, that's all I got in this video. Like, comment, subscribe, notification bell. Um, it would really mean a lot to me if you guys do that. It does help the channel a lot. So thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video.